Hey, Wynn family, Pastor Dave here, as if you didn't know that. Hey, I just wanted to send out a message to each and every one of you. I know it's been a few weeks since you've uh, caught me online, and I just want to say I'm just so thankful for each one of you, uh, especially these past few weeks of, uh, as Kathy and I and Andrew uh, have been taking this time to just be with family and to take time to say farewell to Dad. And uh, with his recent passing, all the various things, and even the time after that we've been able to share with family, I just wanted to send you a message to tell you thank you. Thank you for your love and your outpouring of support, uh, the words of encouragement, uh, the texts, the calls, the prayers, everything that has been sent our way. I can speak on behalf of my whole entire family and myself that we are truly thankful for each one of you and uh, just thankful for the time we've had to be able to share together as a family and take this time together. But I gotta tell you, I'm looking forward uh, to the days ahead. I know with phase one starting this coming Friday, some of you are wondering, hey, are we going to start church this coming Sunday? Well, actually, I just want to say that we are going to hold off uh, at least one more week. I don't want to make any guarantees until I can sit down and with the board, which we are going to do this coming Monday. Uh, we're going to make a reopening plan. We've got all the materials we need from the district. Uh, things will be forthcoming after tomorrow from uh, the Virginia governor. But we want to make sure that we have all things in place so everybody can come and worship the Lord and, and feel safe as we worship together. But I'll tell you this, I, I, I'm longing and looking forward uh, for us to just be able to worship together in the house of God at, uh, at the church and worship together. Yeah, I know there'll be social distancing and there's going to be requirements of us being careful and keeping distance from one another. And, uh, and that's okay. I'm just thankful that we're going to be able to gather together and send each other a smile as we look upon each other face to face. And uh, there's a word of scripture that I wanted to share. It uh, comes from Philippians chapter 1. Uh, Paul and Timothy, servants of Jesus Christ, to all God's holy people in Christ Jesus at Philippi, and let me add, and in Winchester, together with the overseers and deacons, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And I want to extend that greeting to you. Grace and peace. Grace and peace to each one of you. May each one of you uh, be overwhelmed uh, by the peace of God. Verse 3 says, I thank my God every time I remember you and all my prayers for all of you. I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. Being confident in this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Verse 7, it is right for me to feel this way about all of you, since I have you in my heart, and whether I am in chains or defending and confirming the gospel, all of you share in God's grace with me. And then verse 8, I'd like to close with this, God can testify I long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. I long for that time that we can share together and worship together. And I just uh, want to let you know, like I said, this coming Sunday, uh, we will be having uh, at least uh, one more online service. The church board and I will be having a meeting uh, together on Monday night, and we will be formatting our, our safe dis distancing worship plan. And uh, we're going to get all those things in play, make sure we have everything that is required and everything that is needed. So if you can and are able and you want to come out and worship when we open the church back up, we want to make sure that you're safe and everybody's safe and we have all things in place. So we just want to do all of this with due diligence to, to uh, protect each and every one. So once again, just let me say thank you once again for uh, these past recent weeks that I can share with my family, but also the outpouring of love from each one of you. And I am excited that we are very soon going to be worshiping together. God bless each and every one of you. I love you. Have a good night.